Simon of designcourse.com and today I'm announcing the 14th designcourse.com design challenge and this time it's going to be based around designing a wordmark logo for a fictional gym. So a wordmark simply means there's no external symbol as a part of the logo and it's based around the business name essentially. So the name of this fictional business is I uh, going to be Fit Fox which is a female only gym. Again, it's fictional, doesn't exist, it's just for practice. Also, something new with our design challenges, uh, all design entries are now blind. So in other words, your design will not be revealed until the contest is over. So when you come to this thread and you post your design entry, what will happen is instead of showing your design, it's going to show a, uh, a, a fake little um, graphic that I made that says design submission, that, and it will be revealed once I go ahead and do the review of the design. This way, it will cut back on whether it's intentional or unintentional, uh, any any inspiration that people are, gather from the previous entries that were submitted. So this way, it's you know it's undoctored in the sense of that you're not going to um, have anybody that's copying. But again, whether that's intentional or unintentional. So I think that's a, a good thing to integrate. So yeah. Um, so the requirements, of course, just include FitFox. Uh, use only the type FitFox for this logo. Don't include any external designs, images, or symbols. Make this wordmark relevant and unique. Include some sort of reference to the idea of a gym and or a fox. So for instance, you know, we have thread, and it looks like there's thread here. Uh, tonic, it looks like there's, you know, it's a reference towards fluid of some sort. Uh, trident, and you have the E as a, an actual trident. So try to think outside of the box here and use the words fit fox to try to come up with something that is relevant to the idea of a gym and or a fox. All right, so make sure the logo is big enough for me to see so that you know, I don't have to try to zoom in for it. So it should be at least this size and at least this big right here, prefer preferably a little bit bigger. And do please don't use or overuse effects such as bevels, drop shadows, gradients. Try to focus on form and keep it clean. So you don't have to add a ton of drop shadows and stuff. Even though this one does have a drop shadow, it's used very simply. It does, it's not a soft shadow, it's just a hard shadow and you can barely even notice it. So try to focus on using, uh, if you're going to use effects like that, um, use them very minimally. And then the submission deadline, October 4th, that's a week from today. Today's uh, September 27th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And then I'll go ahead and do the review and switch the thread to, uh, the mode in which everybody can view all you know each other's entries and I'll do a video review of it each entry. All right, so uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop rambling. Make sure you check out designcourse.com slash premium where I train you one-on-one -on -one how to become a better designer. And there's also other services uh, as available as becoming a Design Course Premium member. All right, subscribe here at YouTube, check out Facebook and that's in the links here. Uh, underneath the description here in YouTube, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.